All right, Ms. Burnett, to activate your audio video, Mr. Brown, come on up. Would you come up as a character witness, sir? Uh, if needed. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Um, can I give you this? Uh, the... No, you can't. And I'll explain why in a moment. Oh, I didn't know it has all the... All right. Okay. Yes, yeah, hold on. Okay, so you stay standing. Uh, Ms. Burnett and Mr. Brown, raise your right hands for me, please. I swear the testimony in this case be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Maybe be seated. <clears throat> All these okay, yeah, hold, hold yes, on. Uh, yes, I'll sir. come to you. Okay, so Ms. Burnett, all I have by way of a petition from you is a statement saying that Mr. Brown displays irrationality and his erratic, uh, aggressive behaviors, and it's demonstrated by the way he treats his dog. So that's all I have. I have no idea what the basis of your request is. Um, further on in the petition, uh, page nine, um, uh, it's, there was a longer narrative section um that happened um have you got that section yeah i don't have any longer narrative section i do have a section that says that uh, there are numerous protection orders regarding uh, mr brown and he has a history of violence and crime but that's all i have I oh, on have... page on page nine of the petition for protection order um, I yeah. describe, um, I'm sorry, like at just section 16, where it says most recent incident. And I describe how he called me, um, he, I received a phone call from him and he was very aggressive and intimidating and said he would kill me and my dog. And he said, I have a gun and I'm, I will use it. That in, he made repeated references to his gun. He kept saying, don't think I won't use it, that he considered me a threat. So he has the right to defend himself and will come at me with a gun. And he got all my information. He read it out to me, my address, email, everything from animal services because I had submitted uh, a, a concern about the treatment of his dogs. So that was all in the petition. Um, and I'm not sure why that didn't come through. It's on the paperwork. Um, yeah. Hey, Chase, that would... Look at the case here. Um, there was clearly something not filed. Okay. So I've been very anxious. I live alone. Um, I, you know, I'm in a in a, a rural area without immediate resources. So I'm. I someone threatens me with a gun. And somebody with the with the rap sheet and the the including assault, um, the process server that delivered this actually got attacked. He, um, he went for him, it banged his car and and so on. Um, and so I have very, I have a lot of concern about this, and I'm actually quite terrified. Okay, so when did you uh, report to Animal Services about the treatment of Mr. Brown's dogs or dog? Um, I, there was a photograph and videos that came to me. People in the community are afraid, but there's a photograph and videos that I submitted with a, with a, that demonstrated cruelty. Um, and that was in about January, I think it was. And so I received the phone call in February from, and he'd got all my information from animal services, which they shouldn't have given without consulting me. But there Okay, so it was in January you made the? I think it was in January, okay. as Thank I recall. You. When I open up the file, this is all I have. Um, yeah, so are you looking at evidence? No, I... Even if I open up that, this is all I have. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. And the petition doesn't have anything other than two lines. Let me take a look. I'm going to have to. Okay. Yes. Well, uh, 
Ms. Mr. Brown's case is okay. responding. Let's ask a quick question, sir. Yeah, what's the question? How can I get this submitted? So you, you're not going to be able to today. Yes, sir. Because Ms. Burnett's not here in court, she's not going to have an opportunity to see it. These are all public records. Oh, okay. We, we, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I understand. We'll, we'll work with that. Yes, sir. Yeah, the petition isn't even, the petition has really nothing in it. She said there was a long narrative portion, which is not in here at all. I'll close it out. So. All right, so uh, Ms. Burnett, you're indicating that in January thereabouts, you uh, had reported to Animal Services your concern about condition of Mr. Uh, Brown's dogs, and he's retaliated by threatening you and saying he's going to shoot you. Yes, and, and that he's got my address, he had my phone number because it was on the phone, um, you know, and he, he has a history of, of violent outbursts, um, and I'm sorry for him, but, you know, that is what it is. I, I'm terrified that he will suddenly decide to turn on me. He turned on the um, process server. Um, he has other protection orders already in place. Um, he has a, a rap sheet, including assault. Um, so how, yeah. how close do the two of you reside? About two miles apart. Okay. And the condition of his animals came to your attention how? Through people in the area that were concerned. And I could see it when I drive by. Okay. They were left out on the land and were poorly nourished and um, chained. Okay. All right. And when was the last time you heard from Mr. Brown? Uh, that call was the because I've stayed away. I won't go. I won't even go near that area of of tonight. So. He called you on your cell phone? Yes. And how did he have your cell phone number? He got that from animal services. He got okay, all my- that was on the yeah. document? Yeah. And what was the date of the call, do you recall? Um, February 14. Okay. And then I see that you filed this back in March in response to that and then uh, you were not able to get service on Mr. Brown, uh, and now you got service on Mr. Brown. He's here before the court, and that's why we're still talking now about an incident that happened in February. Is that right? That's correct. We tried three times, um, and then I was abroad for May, um, so the case had to be dropped on the third time, and I repetitioned as soon as I got back. Okay. All right. Okay. In fact, the sheriff um, even called him to say they were trying to serve him, and he said he was no longer living in Thurston County, which is untrue. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Brown, before we begin, yes, um, uh, I'll let you know that what Ms. Um, Burnett said that you said uh, that is threatened to kill her and shoot her uh, is a crime and you could be charged with a crime. I don't know whether there's any criminal investigation or not, doesn't sound like it currently, but I want you to know just, I want you to be advised that and depending on what evidence is available, you, you could potentially be charged with a crime for that behavior. And you're under oath. And if you were charged with a crime, anything you say in this hearing could be used against you in any criminal hearing. So I want to make sure you understand that. <laughs> and so fine. you have the right not to say anything at all uh, in that regard. No, nope, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Okay. So, but you understand what I'm saying? Yes, she's on the oath too, right? Yes, she is. Yes, she's. That's good. Okay. okay. But she's not. She hasn't said anything to me, which sounds like she's been charged as a risk of being charged with a crime. No, it's just falsification. Oh, okay. Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. 
Okay. Yeah. So you understand what I just said? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. So Mr. Brown, uh, let me just ask some questions here. Um, you own some dogs or a dog. I don't know whether it's a plural or something. Three dogs, two half two dogs. Dogs. and those two are excellent. So we're trying to have. Okay. And the, there was a re, animal services visited you in response to a complaint raised by Ms. Burnett. Is that accurate? By multiple people, including Burnett, started with Diana Crimin, the person who stole my dogs, and they actually decided to launch off after I received my dogs back. And it's been a joint effort from her and my neighbors, and there's actually been numerous reports done by officers and animal services proving that I am a qualified dog owner and they're in up to great oh, standards. Okay, yes, so animal services was called out. Ms. Burnett was part of the reason they were called out. Yes. And sounds like you were upset that they were called out because you believe that you're giving good care to your animals. I wasn't upset, I was annoyed by this point. Okay, so you're annoyed and you called Ms. Burnett. Is that accurate? Yes, sir. Okay, and what did you say to her when you called her? I told her, I didn't tell I was gonna kill her. I said, I have the right to protect myself and my family and I will protect myself by any means possible. So leave me alone. You are trespassing my property. I do not want you here anymore. I'm going to follow a restraining order, and this is harassment. My dogs were found by your property two and a half miles away. One dog was found by our property two and a half miles away with the other two in the yard, which once I can explain the dogs and the temperament, you understand that's an impossibility for her to have gone two and a half miles away. That's generally located by her house. And on the same day, they actually the people I don't have that in my report because I didn't it's at my house and they put it in the binder. They were actually at my day at my house at the day the dogs were out, which one dog was on a run inside the six foot kennel uh, from one side and one side and the collar was off. And the one that was she's almost a year now was out of the fence, which she can't at that time couldn't climb the fence or get out. But the two big dogs were still in the yard, but Jolene, the mama dog, was found by her property. And I called and said, leave me alone. This is harassment because by this point- Okay, I so, so, slow down. Let me interrupt you oh, yes, with sir. some questions. So did you know Ms. Burnett at this time? I've never seen her for a day in my life. Okay, so how did you know it was by her property? Um, I looked up and I tried to see if my dog was actually by anybody's property that did this report. And it turns out that my dog was actually not too far from her property um, when she was picked up. Because um, she took off on that property and probably tried to come back to my house. So we picked up. That's um, not proved, obviously, at okay, all. So, so you suspect Ms. Burnett picked up your dog, but you don't know that? I have no proof on that. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Just, it's just general so location. So you, you called her and said that you intend to protect your, you and your family, and you do so by any means necessary. That was what you told her? Um, yes, I, did. I said I would never, I didn't say anything about going to her house or going out there. I said, basically, just leave me alone. That's it. I know you can't look at these letters, but there's two letters in here um, to my kid's mom. And another one was sent to her friend, basically saying I was a chimo, which is disgusting, and um, to protect your kids from me. I, and there's also this whole packet is all case reports from the police. This is nothing I've written. This is how many times they've come to my house and harassed me. I just want to be left alone. I, I don't, I'm not going to hurt anybody. I have a 10 year old. I know that's not relevant. You know, they even put it on the house I built. I built a, a tiny house and they poured it on it and I had to move. But she was talking about leaving out Thurston County. No, I said I had to move into a, a, um, a trailer that I bought. And I have two trailers on the property and I have to move to my kid's mom's house and back there because I can't be there for an extended amount of time. You know, that's what she's talking about. And the violent report, I have nothing violent in my record. And if I, I have nothing in my record the past 11 years, if I do, I don't remember it. And she did a background check before she dated me. And there's nothing violent on there to prove it. You know, and for alcohol and drugs, I'll give you a hair sample. I've never done drugs and alcohol. I haven't drank since I found I was going to be a dad. Like, literally, I don't know if you can take that from alcohol, but literally, there's no alcohol in the past 11 years on September 28th. Okay. I've been sober. Very good. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. So actually, it wasn't really a challenge. It was kind of like, I'm going to be a dad. And I was like, ah, I can't do that and be a dad. Some people can't. I can't. So put it okay. down. Yeah, that's smart. Thank you. Okay. And it's so, okay. okay. Just talking about 
are yeah. in here in the back. And okay, so you, you can slow down a little bit. Yes, sir. Uh, so I'm looking at criminal history and I don't see anything of violence there. No drugs either. I don't oh, do okay. that stuff. Oh, sorry, I sir. mean, I see, sorry, sir. you know, pot. Yeah, yeah. I see and some of drinking that. when I was a kid. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All right. So uh, um, since, you, since you called Ms. Burnett in February, and told her you're going to protect you and your family by any means necessary. Have you reached out to her in any way? No, not have at all. You gone I to her March to, I'm sorry to correct you, sir. Have March you gone 15th. to her property? No. Why would I? Okay. But the, the answer is no. You yeah, haven't. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry. My apologies. It's okay. All right, uh, Ms. Burnett. Sorry. Do you have anything else you want to add? Yes. Um. Uh. That is not. That that for a start. I have nothing to do with a dog found. I didn't even know the dog was found near my property. And I'm not sure that that is true. Um, I think that that's something fabricated, frankly. And, and the, I can tell you that he was talking about having a gun, that he would use it, that I shouldn't think that he wouldn't use it. He kept re referring to the gun and saying he's coming for me and my dog, he said. I don't know if he knew I had a dog or not, um, uh, that he'd got my information in order to warn me and tell me he's, that he has a gun, he's not afraid to use it. The reference to the gun was repeated, was repeated a number of times. So, you know, I, I think he's known to have outbursts of anger. He attacked the vehicle of the process server. And I, I think the process server was going to put that in the report. I don't know. And um, and I, I that issue of the the rap sheet that was hearsay. I have to I, I that that's for sure. I, I didn't have a test. I didn't look into it myself, but that was hearsay. Um, but there's already protection order from a barn yelm apparently, and hearsay. Um, and I know another protection order, and there's a reason for these protection orders because right. Um, but yeah, I'm not I'm not going to decide. I'm not going to decide this case based on somebody else's protection order. So okay. it's just going to be whether there's yeah. one warranted in this case. Yes. So okay. the so issue exactly. of warning me, oh, the issue of warning me that he has a gun and that he's not afraid to use it and that he will come to my property, um, that, and he was very aggressive and yelling and shouting. It was something that just shook me to the core. And um, I, as I say, I live alone. Um, I don't have um, close neighbors, um, and I'm terrified of this man coming near my property. He knows okay. my address now. He shouldn't know it, but he does. And um, I have nothing against him personally, except that he has threatened me with a gun. And he's known to have a, a, a violent and sudden uh, temper, and then he comes down and he's all, all nice and sets up a different picture. So, okay. And just so Mr. Brown knows, I am looking at the proof of service, which is in the file of this case. And the uh, Mr. Hot, hot tailing who did the service says that Mr. Brown slammed his gate four times against my truck, attempted to pull off or break my sideboards on my truck while uh, leaving the complaint. So that's what Mr. Hot tailing said in his. Uh, sworn statement on the proof of service. Just, I'm just telling you that's what he said. You don't. Oh no, no, no. I can disagree with what you're saying. I'm just going to ask. Can you pull up the police report that was response to when you actually talked to him that verified what he said was actually false, um, because the structure of the gate and what he said, and the police actually had numerous um, incidents with this in, in, individual. I don't know if you're able to pull that up. I on am there. not. I don't have a proof. But it actually, in there, the police um, said like. It's obvious what he's saying is false, you know, and I, uh, and he recommended to me that I follow a restraining order um, against them. Um, and I don't know if you're able to verify, you can contact any of his police officers or okay. any of the animal services people, but all this has honestly it's nothing to do with her. She's using the court system right now to further the gains of dying to crime and the person who stole my dog. So that's been against me because she's charged with first degree dog theft and she is a founder of second chance dogs. Mm -hmm. This is a rather big case and she's been accused of stealing dogs in the past and she's using other people. And uh, Sandra Burnett, 
um, is a mutual friend, I believe, of Diana Kramen and Ido Avery, who, are, like, who said they have no acknowledgement of each other. And when I told her, you know, I said, don't come my property, I had no idea she was friends with Ido. I thought she was friends just with Diana Kramen. I was like, just leave me alone. You have nothing to do here. I just, that's it. That's like the main thing. Was she at you, at your property? She comes through, uh, there's a shared driveway and I was wondering if I can restrain your order against her from my property, not me, just my property. Uh, it goes through my property to Ido Avery and she stops there, she takes pictures and I can show you all the pictures. Um, I, I know I can't, but this like the dogs. Are... But let me back up real quick to how the whole thing started, please. It started, Sorry, story time. Um, my dog was six and a half weeks. My puppies are six and a half weeks. They were inside the house. It became too much for me to have them inside the house. So I made a temporary shelter for them outside. It was supposed to be temporary. It was a 20 foot squared area with black cloth around it. I have pictures of it. And the dog, my dog's chain got tangled up. You know, I didn't know what was gonna happen. I got home and this person, um, Diana Crimmon and Louis Armstrong were at my property taking pictures of the dogs and I was like shaking because my dog was a three foot chain and, and like couldn't really get to the water very well and like I mean so I put the next day I'm a dog in a 40 foot chain and I started to build a six by six kennel which I was already always on in the process of doing you know and these puppies I said were accents I'm not a puppy mill I didn't want to have puppies you know I just got home late I made a structure I messed up on it and this person takes pictures of it and blasts it all through the internet and then ends up stealing my dogs. And she actually put herself there at the time of the dog theft in this paper. From okay, the so we're not, we're not gonna talk about oh. Miss Prim. She's oh, sorry, not relevant. Sorry. And then um, as soon as I got my dogs back, I'm starting to get report after report after report against me. I think like several reports, including her, you know, as it's like, He's this horrible person. He's abusing his dogs. He's doing this. Every time the officer comes out, animal service comes out, they prove that they were lying, that it wasn't there, and the manners and the dogs and everything. I mean, the last report was four days ago. You know, I mean, they're still coming out. They said my dog was like not even moving or hardly moving. And like the animal service was like, hey, I'm here again, you know, and like she saw Jolene, CJ, and Jinx. They all ran up to her. They're like, yeah, they're perfectly healthy. They're good dogs, you know? And, and it's been an ongoing thing. And I've been constantly harassed by these people. And okay, I- so Don't say these people right now. The oh, only me, issue is as to Ms. Burnett. Um, I've been uh, Restrict constantly to that. harassed. And by one of these people has been this lady, Sandra Burnett, who I actually don't think I've ever seen a day in my life before here, before today. You know, it's like, <sighs> And this is largely to make it so when that case goes to court, it you know pushes that away. She's using the court to further gain. That's nothing to do with her. Okay, and I, so you see, I've never contacted her. Is around. she a party in the other court case you're talking about? Um, no. She's just one of the people that's been sent out. No, I've out. got nothing to do with exactly. that case. Ms. Burnett, I'll, I'll get back to you. She's okay. just one of the main okay. sent out there to try okay. to- But she's not a case. named party in that case. No, her name is not- no, no, sir. So I guess what I'm saying is technically hearsay with that. It's just that her reports happened the same time everybody else reports happened uh -huh. as soon as my dog came back. And when I messaged her, because my dogs were found right by her property. And, and, and also, you guys say I'm two and a half miles away from my dog. She would have went to the neighbor's house. My dog won't go to him. And CJ would never, ever leave Jolene alone. That dog's obsessed with her, too. If I go off, if I take just CJ, as soon as he does, go right to the gate. You know, he, he's, all I care is about his mom. There's no way he would have been separate. So, yes, I was upset, and I called her. And I was, uh, you know, I guess I guess I was a little bit, you know, uh, it's mad would be a, a correct terminology, yes. But, you know, I, I didn't tell I was going to go to her property. And I, I was basically just alone. I just want to be left alone. You know, I mean, I mean, I every, I have to have um, cameras up on my property 24 seven now. And if one of them dies, I have to go home. I'm the one who's worried all the time. You know, yes, I'm strong, I'm young, but they've had people, there have been people who, not they, excuse me, there have been people who come my property at two o'clock at night. Last month, somebody tried to steal my dad's truck. They, they stole the- Okay, let's just stick to what you're- Sorry. I, am I don't not. want to bring everybody else into it. It's just Ms. Burnett. 
apologies, yes. Um, I guess it's in my frame, it's like all this is just right one and paste together. And you're right, it's not. Um, and the only reason I called it is just to tell it is to please leave me alone. I didn't use the word please, obviously. I was just basically saying, don't come near my property. You have no reason, no right to walk on my property. Yes, she had an easement to go to the neighbors, but she wasn't using the easement for that. She was using the easement to get out, take pictures, record things, and send them in, which has nothing to do with the easement at all. And she went off the 10 foot, I believe, of the gravel pathway as well. Um, and a character witness, um, you can ask if I even yelled or been upset or anything, you know? I mean, I've got some other people on there tell you, like, I don't know, you know? It's not, it's not what I do. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, Can I so address that? Ms. 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 Burnett, just, yeah, just sit tight for a moment here. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'll just sort of summarize the facts that I'll find in this case, which is that there was a complaint about uh, Mr. Brown's treatment of his dogs, animal services responded. It sounds like you have the dogs back. Yes, sir. Now, plenty okay. reports of what they okay. said. Okay, he has the him. dogs back. Uh, and Ms. Burnett was somebody who called animal services by her own testimony and apparently was on some of the documents that animal services provided, which is how Mr. Brown got her phone number. Uh, he made a call to her, which uh, I think he's recognizing today he should not have done. That's not appropriate. Uh, and he said he was upset when he did, and he basically told her to back off and he was going to do whatever he needed to do to protect himself. Ms. Burnett makes clear that he referred to his uh, ownership of firearms numerous times in that conversation. He hasn't admitted that, but uh, he does admit that he was angry when he made that call. Uh, he says he's not been out to her property. And Ms. Burnett seems to indicate that that is the case, that even though he may have said he was going to come there, he's not been there. Uh, but given the uh, tenor of that conversation and the inappropriate nature of the fact that Mr. Brown was calling somebody who had made a complaint to animal services about his dog, I am going to enter a protection order, which says that Mr. Brown, you're to have no contact with Ms. Burnett at all. Can this be okay. a two-way order, no, please? No, it can't. You're not to go within a thousand feet of her residence. Uh, and Ms. Burnett, if you want this order renewed, you'll have to come back to court and ask for it to be renewed. It's in effect for one year from today's date. Is there a way to contest um, this? Can I just address, uh, say that I have never been off the easement ever. I didn't take those photographs and that the uh, cops didn't say the guy was making it up the guy, the cops say to the guy that there was no okay. proof and he they yeah. couldn't lay a charge because there was no proof. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I'm not uh, giving that much great weight either way. Uh, I'm just going to go based on the evidence that I just summarized. Excuse and, me, Your Honor. Uh, I'm trying to get a job in Seattle as a nanny at $35 an hour. This is going to destroy my opportunity to have that. Um, can, well, can you please look at the case and see that I've never contacted or responded to this person since that day? Yeah. And, and I, okay, I just said that yes, I've recognized that has said that has that is the those are the facts of the case. I, I, I understand that maybe this has some impact on you going forward, but the case I have here is Ms. Burnett's request for a protection order. I find that it is appropriate that I enter it and I'm going to enter it. Okay. And it will be in effect for one year from today's date. So no contact at all with Ms. Burnett in any fashion. Don't is there, go within a thousand feet of her property. Can she just not come into my property? She, That's the only thing I care about. Yeah, I'm not entering any order, but she's heard you say that she uh, that you don't want her on your property. You don't have the ability to restrict her from going near your property. She says she doesn't even do that. Oh. that and she's, she says she's not the one who took any photos. But I'm not, there is no order as to Ms. Burnett. So I'll just be clear I have about proof that. that she took both pictures. It's okay. in the report that she made. Um, can I come and make a, even though she has journal on me, can I get a restraining order against her in a future case? If, um, you, with, in, with if you think it's warranted, is, you can file something. This is okay. literally all, all right. public If information. you think that you need a protection order against Ms. Burnett, you can against ask the court for property. It. At this point, I'm not going to grant it. Okay, no but basis. I'm kind of curious though, because um, there was one phone call and uh, there had no been, um, I, have, I haven't responded, I haven't talked to her. Honestly, I didn't even know what she looked like. 
okay. at all. Okay. And this is just puts up on my record. It's a blemish. I have absolutely nothing on my record well, for yeah, the past 11 years. I have, since I became a dad, I have fully yeah. have. Yeah, it does. I acknowledge that. You but, do have three, or you have in a protection order currently as to another party. Uh, as to any Angelica Wilson. Oh, her. So there's yeah, an active protection order in effect. Yeah, she actually and, wanted to try to drop that um, from a mutual pie. She oh, okay, but you. it's still it's still active. And then uh, you also have one with Ms. Crimmin. Wait, so, I don't have one with her. Yeah, you do. There is no, an active order. I was never Crimmin. served. Uh, you have an active order. I'm just looking at it or I'm right now. I wasn't served in this criminal. Mm. I got a paper, okay. a vanilla envelope. I, I'm, just, oh, I'm not arguing with you. I'm, okay. I'm sorry. I'm not trying I, to argue with okay, you. Just know that I'm looking at an active order that's in effect until the 17th of November of 2024, telling you to have no contact with Diana Crimi. So I did not there, know that. Okay. I, that just that so you know. So yeah. there is an order. I have okay. no idea. This puts a blemish in my record, though. No. Well, you already have to two no contact orders on there. So yeah, I'm not sure a third is going to significantly out. impact that. Okay, thank you. Right. All right. So um, is there a way for me to contest this? Well, that's what support? we've been doing. We had the hearing here. And well, I, made that I wasn't decision. able to, um, I'm not trying to. Okay. You know, I, I, I just, okay, one second, sir, please. Um, if you want to appeal it, you can get a appeal paperwork at the front counter and they'll give you an appeal but you'll we'll have to pay the appellate fees to get before superior court and appeal it superior court yeah okay so, um yeah and when i uh because i didn't know i couldn't just give you this paperwork because i literally have a mountain of paperwork of them well, taking pictures all right let, okay let me make clear that's not the issue for the court the court i decided that based on the phone call you acknowledged you made to ms burnett that's the basis for me entering this order. And the, that and the threatening nature of that phone call, I thought was serious enough that I would enter the order. That's what was based on. You acknowledged making that call. Ms. Burnett said you made the call. She said you haven't come to her property. I'm not taking, that was, the, those are the facts upon which I based my decision today. Just so you know. But I okay, disagree okay. with All that. All right. That I know you disagree. Like a good, All right, thank because, you. Um, okay, no, no, just Brown. At it, Mr. Brown, I down. have a, um, I okay, you want me to walk off the bench here so um, that you'll stop like, talking? I was, you know, okay. I just, no, I'm, I'm going, sir. I know I'm okay. the last All person. Right. Thank you. And I can't fight this. I was trying to figure out how to get this because the person who stole my dog is still at large. Okay, I can't do it. Oh, anymore. I got one more thing. Has anybody ever told you you look like Timothy Oliphant's dad? It's a good compliment. I'll peel this in uh, at the higher court and press these strip uh, orders against uh, that person. You have a good day, miss, okay? You know, they gave it to me.